My grandmother's, she confuses me because she watches the news and then has her own take on what's happening on the news. <laughs> and she complicates things. You know why? Because she believes everything she is watching on the news is happening in her neighborhood. <laughs> she is 84. This is what she think when they caught Saddam Hussein. My grandmother thought he was hiding in her building. <laughs> she did. You know why? Because they showed a quick building while they was going to get him, and she said, Mira, that's my building right here. <laughs> they go, that's us, he is. She felt it was her, she was outside warning people, don't go in that building. Don't go, Saran Jose is in there. He's in the basement washing white clothes. I see him on my eye layer. Ay, yo mio, no Saran Jose. I didn't even know Saran Hussein was Latino until my grandmother said his name. My grandmother said, Mira, Saran Miguel Jose. It's in the basement washing my clothes. She puts her own twist on everything. Like, no matter what's on the news, my grandmother puts her grandma twist on everything. She confuses things. This one worked me up. Remember when that hit, the tsunamis? My grandmother was in the Bronx, soaking wet. I don't know how the hell she got wet. She was out there warning people, don't go outside. <laughs> no, no, two salaries coming like that. Don't go outside. <laughs> I was inside with, for three days with this old woman. <laughs> when the two salaries coming? <laughs> I could survive one salami. I don't know about two salami. <laughs> There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.